Hey, and welcome to the Rottler factory here. I'm standing in front of the EM69 HP today, and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, cylinder head porting. So the EM69 HP is a block machining center and uh, porting, five axis porting machine. It's designed specifically to, uh, to do porting on all automotive cylinder heads. We can do uh, overhead cam stuff with our universal plates and for stuff like the common domestic things, small block Chevy, LS, uh, big block Chevy, big block Ford, we make custom precision porting plates to mount the cylinder head on and you can buy those directly from us uh, and that takes care of all your setup. So I have a LS head sitting here in the machine today. I'm just gonna load it up and, uh, and show you guys how that works out and just kind of the general setup and uh, what to look for when we're setting up uh, for porting. All right, let's hop right into it. So inside the machine here, we have our fourth axis on the table and we have our LS porting plate on it. The porting plates all use precision ground dowel pins that'll pick up the uh, dowel pin locations on the cylinder head. So all you have to do to set up is you wanna make sure your dowel pins are aligned. I've already trammed them. Uh, the software can compensate if there's a misalignment on the fixture, but when set up from the factory, the the fourth axis should be straight in line and the plate will be dialed in. So all we have to do is load the head and then we can change out between each head that goes on next uh, by simply just loading the next one. And that's all it takes to set the head in there. Um, I'll bring the camera in, and just to show you how that's working a little bit closer, and just rotate this around over here. So the plate is cut out on the backside, and that allows access to the, the fire deck surface. And then when we come through on the opposite side here, on the manifold side, that's where we're gonna access. Um, so in the next video segment, we'll go over the digitizing process because what we want to do is we want to use our Renishaw probe that's in the machine and digitize uh, these ports so we have that information and we can create a solid model and then a tool path. The tooling that's used on these machines is we're using a 3 8 For the most part, we'll use a 3 8 lollipop cutter. These come in various uh, different types, whether you're using uh, in an aluminum head or cast iron. We supply both, so you want to make sure you're buying the right one. You know it's an aluminum one because it'll have uh, three flutes on it. And these come in different sizes and lengths. So depending on uh, the shape of the port and the size of it and, and how much material you're in, you can buy uh, uh, different porting tools for your different applications. In the next video, we'll go over, uh, part two, we'll go over digitizing. We'll show you kind of pulling behind the curtain here and how you get that information about the port to create those toolpaths. So we'll catch you next time, and thanks for watching.